Hello techies. In this tutorial, we are going to learn and work with tag image action which is available under computer vision actions. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Tag image action generates a list of words or tags that are relevant to the content of the image which we have supplied. The computer vision API can return tags based on the objects, living beings, scenery or actions found in the image. All right, let me show you a small example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having an image with the two people and after that they are having the building and they are wearing some suits and clothes, right? If you observe keenly about this image, we are having the tags over here in such a way, person, human face, clothing, and they are smiling and both are human, right? And they are wearing the glasses and along with that, one person having the suit over here. And these are all the tags which are available in the particular image. How can we go ahead and get all these tags in the particular image by using tag image action? Unlike categories, tags are not organized according to the hierarchical classification system, but correspondent to the tag image content. Tags may contain hints to avoid ambiguity or provide context. All right, first of all, we'll see the inputs which are available for the tag image action. The first parameter is the server location where our computer vision API resides. Let me go back to the computer vision API. There I have created the computer vision API with the name of Power Automate Desktop Computer Vision API. There you can see I'm having location and the region and I'm having keys also that is key one and key two. I'm going to place these values in the Power Automate Desktop tag image action. Now over here, the server location, I'm going to select it as East US. And the second parameter is the subscription key. I have already stored the subscription key in the API key variable so that I'm going to select the variable over here as API key. Now, provide image. There are two input methods that are going to support by the tag image. One is from file, another one from GCS. From file, we need to upload the image file location from our local computer. Whereas if you're going to select from GCS, then we need to provide the image URL from the Google Cloud Storage. All right, now I'm going to select from file and I'm going to select the image file, which I have just shown as an example. That is from ePowerOutMate Desktop. And after that, I'm going to select the picture which I have just shown as an example. All right, let me click on open. Now, advanced, this is the timeout which we have for the connectivity between the agent and the Microsoft Cognitive Services. And if you see the output, we are having two outputs that is variable produced, one is JSON response, another one is the status code. When status code is 200, that is nothing but when a successful response will be returned from the API, JSON response will be stored in the JSON response flow variable. All right. When it is a bad request, then we'll get it status code as 400. These are the two variables which we are going to produce as part of the tag image action. All right. Let me click on save. Now, let's run the flow to see the output. What kind of JSON response we are going to get it from the tag image. Flow execution started and the flow has been executed successfully. Now you can see the status code is 200, nothing but successful request and response from the API. Now we'll go for the JSON response. Now if you see over here, I'm having in the JSON response, I'm having request ID, metadata. I'm having including that, that I'm having tags, right? If you click on more, I'm having the tags of the particular image. There you can see I'm having person, human face, clothing, smile, man, shirt, glasses, and suits, along with that, the outdoor and the ties. These are all the tags which we are having inside the image. Now, once again, if you click each and every tag, you will get it in detail. Now you can see 
the name is the person that we are going to get it each and every tag over there now let me click on close now i want to get the tags names which are available in the particular image how can i go ahead and get it i can use for each action to get all the list of the tags which are available inside the particular image all right now let me drag and drop for each action onto the workspace now i'm going to values to iterate in the for each i'm going to select json response of tags inside that that i'm having tags over there right now inside the tags again i'm having the list of names over there all right let me click on save now in each and every current item i'm having the name that name i want to display right now right so how can i go ahead and display that by using display message let me drag and drop display message action onto the workspace inside for each action i'm going to give the message box title as tag image and then message to display in the current item i'm having the names as name right so that i'm going to give the value as current item of name and then i'm going to click on save now let's run the flow to see the output which are related to the tag image all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and by using tag it is generating the tags which are relevant to the image and then if you see for each action has been started and there you can see i got the tag image as first tag as person let's click on okay second one human face third one clothing fourth one smile fifth one man sixth one shirt next one glasses suit outdoor and i hope finally we have tie all right there you can see the flow has executed successfully and we got all the tags that we got it related to the image i hope you understand how to work with the tag image as part of computer vision actions thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day